Hello and welcome to this Beginner's Unity tutorial in C-Sharp. What we're going to look at today is a couple of functions that are built into Unity and when they're launched. And they are the Awake and Start function. The Awake function happens before the start, so when you're using these codes you have to plan out where you're going to use it, what you want to happen, and when you want it to happen. So let's just have a look at the order in which they execute. So we're just going to create a new script in C Sharp. So right click in your assets folder, create C Sharp. And we'll just call this uh, start awake. And then just double click on that file to open it up. Okay, so what we've got here at the moment is a start and the update function. The update happens pretty much all the time. We'll, we might as well look at that while it's here as well. But we're not seeing the awake function, so we're going to create that. I'm just going to create it above my void start, so it happens in the order. It doesn't matter if you put this at the bottom, I just like to keep them in the order in which they're going to actually work. So the built-in function is void awake. And open and close your curly braces. So I'm just going to do some debugs and log it to the console. So the first thing I'm going to do is debug.log and then put in I'm awake. Close my brackets, end it with a semicolon. In the start function, I'm just going to type in debug.log and again open my brackets. I have started. Close brackets, semicolon. And finally, in the void update, another debug log. And this time, I'm updating. So what we've got is three different areas here. The awake is going to happen first. It's just going to wake up and run whatever code you've got written inside there. Then the start function is going to run, and any code that's going to run in there. And both of those are going to run just once. The update function is going to run throughout the whole game, so it's called once per frame. So I'm just going to save that, switch back to Unity, and I'm going to attach that to my main camera. And I'm just going to click on play. And you'll see at the bottom here it's saying I'm updating, so I'm just going to click onto that. And you're going to continually get this I'm updating. You can see it's all coming through time and time again. I'm going to click on this collapse here and it will keep all of the updating together. As you can see, it's happening quite a lot, very fast. But it started with I'm awake and that run once. Then it came into the I have started and it run that once. And then it's gone on to the I'm updating and it's continually running that until I end the program. So obviously you want to be careful in what you put on the I'm updating because it is going to run at every single frame. And the more you have in there, the slower the game will get. This has just been a brief introduction. We'll be using all of these functions in the games we create once we get around to writing those tutorials. I hope this has been useful. Thank you for watching.